What's going on everyone? So Ashen Lords have been brought into the Sea of Thieves world, and I tell you, it's been a long time coming. So we're not going to spend too much time talking about what the Ashen Lords are, instead I'm going to tell you how you can solo this new server event. With that being said, I guarantee you cannot subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a like in the next 3 seconds. If you can, leave a comment down below. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, so first off, Ashen Lords are a new emerging threat that come in the form of a server event. This can be showcased by a tornado of fire heading into the sky. That means instead of something like a fleet or a fort, you'll notice there is a big flaming fireball going into the sky. If you have one of them in your server, it means you do have a new Ashen Lord event active. So going into this, expect to fight one main boss and a continuous wave of weak skeletons. You'll also notice there will be occasional spawnings of captains, which will drop loot as well. Keep an eye out for them. Now, going into this battle, the best thing you can probably do is get yourself a blunderbuss and a sword. Although if you're not too happy with those two loadouts, you can run whatever you'd like. I just highly suggest that. You'll find fire bombs are going to have no real effect at all on the main boss. While blunder bombs do, it's not exactly the most useful method of taking him down. If you do want to go for projectiles, what you could probably do is set your cannons up so you could open fire on them. But even then, that's not really a real efficient way, considering you only have a limited supply of cannonballs. So in my experience, I'd say the best thing you can do is go out there with a sword and a blunderbuss. If you don't like the blunderbuss, try and switch it out for a sniper rifle. It does high damage and gives you a little bit of range. So it's important to note these new Ashen Lords have a new set of attacks, not similar to any of the previous attacks we've seen before. The main boss's moveset consists of flamethrowing that is stronger than a normal fire attack but doesn't do the most amount of damage. They have jump type attacks and a blunder bomb projectile that they throw in front of you. This is fairly inaccurate but very very strong when it does hit you. Additionally to that they also have two world altering attacks one of which doesn't arrive until the end of your fight. The main one that you will see consistently throughout this battle is a shroud type substance that is really dark that gets covered in the battlefield. It'll just make visibility quite hard but doesn't do much aside from that. During the second half of your battle you will notice a mini volcano type attack will fall upon the battlefield. Means there will be falling rocks of magma coming from the sky. It is very useful to look out for them because they can be deadly as well. Now this whole fight will take around the same time as an average fort, although you can speed that progress up significantly if you do have things like kegs around or utilize some cannon shots. As I said, cannon shots aren't the best way to go about this, but if you do have some extra resources, I highly recommend you use them. Aside from that, working out the attack set and going in with a sword on the times you're not being targeted by a national lord is likely the best way to do a lot of damage over time. And save your weapon projectile shots for the smaller skeletons they spawn, it will always be effectively a one-shot kill. Now, after completing this server event, you're going to notice there'll be a lot of loot that spreads around the battlefield, fairly similar to Borderlands loot drops if you have played that game before, but there's a little bit of everything. Most importantly though, there's a new type of loot set, and that is known as the new flamethrower, which I mentioned in a previous video. Now, the Ashen Lord Skull is actually pretty, pretty cool. Not only is this a form of loot you can sell to the Order of Souls, it is also used as a weapon if you'd like to. The attack of this flamethrower is equal to that of the attack of the Ashen Lord when it uses its fire attack on you, if that makes Makes any sense. You can take down a player in around 3 seconds of hold, and you will notice that there is around 60 seconds of flame charge inside the new weapon. Whether or not you decide to use this as a weapon though is completely up to you, but I'd highly recommend you sell it instead of using it. So if you have any questions that I didn't make clear, feel free to go ahead and put that down in the comment section so I can reply to them. And with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.